We broadcast live and bring our KBLA delegation with us to help clean and beautify our community, and you are invited to join us. Come meet us on Saturday, April the 20th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in Compton as we fan out to clean up our city. The first 50 KBLA listeners to hit our website at kbla1580.com will receive a free KBLA tea when you join us on Saturday morning, April 20th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in Compton. Now, no show, no shirt, but sign up at kbla1580.com right now to help us clean up Compton as part of Earth Day 2024. We will see you on Saturday, April the 20th, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at 212 West Cypress Street in the city of Compton to do our part for Earth Day 2024. We are KBLA Talk 1580, caring about the climate, caring about the community, cleaning up Compton. First things first. First, it's the DU General, Money P. I'ma put you up on the schedule. Six to nine, eight weekdays, not two and seven. Years. We got a lot to talk about, so much to pedal through. Unapologetically progressive. Tune to KBLA 1580 to get the mess. We're your ancestors' favorite radio station. First, black on talk radio, left side of the nation. First. Me and Dominique the Prima go way back. Tap, smiling, making sure the station stays black. Yeah. Discussing all the issues in our community. We're Host of black and brown and others find unity. So let's talk about it. Maybe we can improve it. Digital underground, always down with the movie. So we tune in. The first things first with the queen of black talk radio. Dominique to Prima. Go, sis. KBLA Talk 1580, good morning and God bless. I'm Dominique Deprima. This show is called First Things First. I'm a first thing today and every day, giving thanks, giving praises, and asking for blessings from God, asking for the blessings of the ancestors and the elders, and getting it going. We've got a lot to talk about, a lot to get to. And the way this show works, typically, hour one, we look at what's going on locally, left coast, Pacific Ocean side of town. Hour two, we go national, international, and beyond. And in the third hour, we do a deep dive with a person of interest or a hot topic. <clears throat> Today is no exception. Uh, it is a talking point Tuesday, which means we do our best to debunk those things we repeat, those propaganda items that may have infiltrated our brains and our psyches that we don't even understand where they came from or why they're there or what they really mean. We follow the money. We figure it out. We debunk and destroy said points um, or create our own uh, alternatives. And I'll be joined, um, as we do from time to time, on Talking Point Tuesday by one of my Republican colleagues who has a different viewpoint, a black Republican that is. Today, Donna Jackson, uh, Project 21, will be my guest uh, for the first part of hour two, and then we'll be asking you to weigh in for the second part. She's got a lot to talk about. She wants to go in on Disney, and we'll get updated on that. So a lot going on around here. I'm very interested, too, in the way, and we haven't really talked about it much, but the way that various people have reacted to Beyonce having a country album. She's now the first black woman uh, to have a number one on the country charts. Um, her the, the songs are charting, um, you know, quite uh, robustly. And so uh, I'm interested in why it is that she's getting so much clap back. At the same time, someone's buying it, someone's streaming it. Somebody is listening to it or would not be charting the way it is. Love that uh, Sir Paul McCartney stepped up and said, you know, I'm, I'm glad Beyonce did my song. Love that uh, Reba McIntyre and others, Dolly Parton is, you know, on the album. Others have gone out of their way to um, support Beyonce. But there's a lot of flack, especially on social media. And, you know, okay, I kind of expected it from some of these people who aren't black. But um, a lot of black people hating, too, and I just don't understand it. I love the fact that uh, some of our country artists, black country artists who have been doing this for a long time and haven't got the note are now getting some spotlight, thanks to Beyonce. So uh, we might 
we might touch on that a little bit later in the show as far as like uh, I want to share something with you which really helps us to understand and unpack the country uh, roots uh, of blackness or the black roots of country or however you want to put that and its cousin the blues and all of our legacy surrounding it some of which I did not even know so that should be interesting. And plus, everybody in L.A. is country. In fact, I, I found that to be true in a lot of places where black people live, but especially in California. You go back one generation, two generations, maybe three at the most. It's Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, New Orleans. Everybody in L.A. is country, except for the people that came here to make it who aren't from L.A., but most everyone around here is country. The place is country, so... All right, we're going to get into that. But first, it is my pleasure to welcome a woman who has served as the mayor of the city of Compton since 2021. Before uh, her victory in the mayoral race, she represented the 4th District of the Compton City Council. She started that job back in 2015, but she's been a resident of Compton for over 20 years, raising her kids there and working in the community that entire time. Mayor Emma Sharif, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited today. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming into the studio. So the folks on YouTube, you know, we have a whole YouTube community uh, that watches us live, can uh, see you uh, live and in person. So how are things, speaking of country, how are things yes. in the city of Compton? When you say country, I'm like, oh, don't forget about Arkansas. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas. Can't yes. forget Arkansas. Can't yeah. forget Arkansas, yes. Uh, yeah, and Compton has a whole, you know, cowboy tradition which people are starting to discover but I don't think it gets as much play as you would imagine I know people from LA that are like what there's cowboys in Compton there's ranches and horses yes uh yeah yes we do we call the Richland Farms yeah yeah it's it's really exciting to see but you know that's a it's great to have all the different cultures and everything there all the different uh, uh experiences that our children have an opportunity to be exposed to is, it really is because that, that part of uh, the talk about country horses and everything, I, I know about that. I was raised with doing, doing those things. <laughs> yeah, a lot of folks were. I was not, but you don't have to go far back, you know, uh, in my family to get to North Carolina. So um, how how are things in the city of Compton? Oh, we're doing great. We're doing fine. We moving on. We actually uh, doing a lot of great things there. I'm looking exci- uh, especially for Earth Day. We're gonna be having a great time there. Yeah. Um. You know, congratulations and and thank you for teaming up with KBLA on this uh, issue. I think it's awesome to do an Earth Day event of this magnitude in the city of Compton because many times when we think about environmentalism, save the planet, we think white folks in the country. We do not think Compton. Why did you decide to take this on? It's something that has been coming along up that we've been looking at for a while. Our community has been uh, asking about us uh, cleaning up the city. And so this is something that the, the uh, community, uh, res- the, I'm sorry, the uh, council decided to move a, uh, approve a resolution called Clean and Beautify Compton. And so this really just fall in line with Earth Day because we're getting ready to do this big cleanup uh, on the uh, 20th uh, in regards to uh, uh, cleaning up Compton, but it really falls in line with Earth Day. And because it's Earth Day, we just rolled it over into the Earth Day uh, issue, and we just kept moving with it. And so I think it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I'm looking forward to the community coming out and be a part of this and, and joining us. So we got a lot that I'm just excited about this because uh, I believe in un- uniting uh, the community, and this is one way for us to pull together and do something together that all of us can benefit from. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about pulling the community together, anyone is invited to come out and help clean up and beautify and show some love to the city of Compton and the planet that we live on. Yes. And uh, we welcome all everybody to come and join us. <laughs> Even if we're not from Compton. Even if you're not from Compton, we welcome you as well. Come and, and join in with us and, and we can have some fun. And after that, we're going to have make sure that people can eat and just have fun today. After yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll, that'll be um, on the 20th, which is Saturday. It is uh, Earth Day weekend, I guess, technically. Earth Day is Monday, but... Um, it's interesting to me, and I know this is one of the reasons why Mr. Smiley launched this 
climate justice year that we're doing around here, which is that most of the time when it comes to uh, pollution um, and the impacts of environmental problems, it disproportionately hurts black people and Latino people Uh in cities. But yet we always think about, oh, Earth Day, I'll go to Santa Monica and Mm -hmm. clean up the beach, which is great. I mean, clean up the beach. I just think it's important for us to realize that this isn't something far away in the mountains of, you know, of the Sierra Nevada. These are issues that impact our cities, our blocks, our schools, our communities. Yes, it does. And that's one of, one of the reasons I think this is important for us to have this in the city of Compton. Because uh, it's, we are, I tell people we are just next door neighbors to Carson and we're next door neighbors to Linwood and we're next, even joining f- or next door neighbors to parts of Los Angeles. And so this to, to let people know it's just not about in those areas. It's happening right here in our neighborhoods as well. And for uh, everybody to come together, like I said, we to invite everybody out to be a part of this. And uh, we're looking forward to people coming from all over to come and join us. We really are, because I think this is a great. This is a, a way for everybody to ta- understand. Compton is 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 really uh, proud of what we're doing. But not only that, is that we are interested in making sure that we are cleaning up, making sure that we're part of that experience of cleaning up the community and cleaning up the environment. Did you see or watch on TV or track at all the solar eclipse yesterday? Um, because it turned into like a national event, actually continental, because it started in Mexico with people. I was on the NASA feed watching it because they showed you every city. Uh, we went from, you know, two cities in Mexico and they were, well, not every city, but most of the cities where you were right in the path of what they call totality. Mm-hmm. And the reason I bring it up is because I feel like some kind of weird way it made people feel closer to the planet to Earth, the planet Earth, that right? We, they begin to realize this is not so far off. We we look at it as being a long way, and it is. But for you to actually be there to exp- uh, to have that experience and to see it in this lifetime, because we know this is going to be years and years before this happens again. But to be there and to see that in this lifetime, that is truly amazing. I think this is what the people understood, is that this is not going to happen. We, I, I need to see it now. Right. Because this is going to be a long time before we can see this again. And, yeah. and I think that also the idea of just being a tiny speck on, on another tiny speck in a universe, you know, yeah. which also could be a tiny speck. <laughs> and that, you know, just, um, I don't know, we take... We take our, the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the habitat that we live in. I, f- I feel like we take it for granted. And somehow that eclipse seemed to um, wake people up. So I love that it's happening right before Earth Day. And hopefully it makes us want to connect with keeping this place. Because Earth is going to be around. The question is whether or not we... We're going to be here. We're going to be right. here. Right? That's right. It is going to be here. Yeah. But we need to make sure that we keep it clean while we're here. Right. Because this is something that God has entrusted with us. Mm. And that and that's the way I look at it. He tr- entrusted this to us. So we need to make sure we take care of it. And so if you don't care, it, it can, if we do not take care of it, it can't take care of us. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, Mother Earth will shake us off and keep it pushing. And, and keep on pushing. <laughs> oh, here come and, another, and, and here some the, dinosaurs, you know. We go. <laughs> there you go. You look at <laughs> yeah. You are going to give me, give, give, give me uh, bring me the dinosaurs. <laughs> come on, reptiles. Yeah, I'm like telling you. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. we, I think we have a duty and responsibility to try to make sure we maintain and keep, you know, this earth clean, which he has provided to for us. So, mm. you know, you're, 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 like you said, we just... You know, yeah, it's amazing because I, I go back sometime and I think about Noah. He got rid of all those people and bring on another crew. <laughs> so, uh, two of yeah. each. But, yeah. I mean, I, when you put it in that perspective, it seems kind of like a duty. Like, <laughs> oh, man, like God entrusted us with this. So but he did. It's our heavenly duty to step up and not trash the place. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, you know, he entrusted us. He he believed in us as a human, as human beings, and he entrusted us to us. So I think we have a duty and responsibility to try to, you know, take care of it. Emma Sharif is the mayor of Compton. She is my guest, and you're listening to KBLA Talk 1580. She's reclaiming her time on KBLA Talk 1580. More First Things First with Dominique DePrima when we come forward. It's a celebration of a living legend. It's the farewell tour. It's me featuring Frankie Beverly. Also featuring the soul icon, Anthony Hamilton. Plus, 
after 7. It's a Mother's Day celebration, May 12th in the Kia Forum. And commemoration coming your own way. Get tickets at Ticketmaster. Presented by the Black Promoters Collective. KBLA Talk 1580 is the fastest growing talk radio station in Southern California. Home to 50,000 watts and an audience reach of 12 million listeners. KBLA Talk 1580 is a pioneer for black audio content, including our groundbreaking $2 million climate justice campaign and the most loyal influential audience. According to an independent research study by the polling firm of Iteris, for the second consecutive year, KBLA Talk 1580 is the most trustworthy, reliable, and credible news source for black audiences and beyond in Southern California. Let KBLA Talk 1580 power your advertising dollars. Our omni-channel custom marketing solutions are specifically tailored to connect with your ideal target audience. We leverage audio, podcasts, streaming, digital, social media, and local activations to get your message out to the black community. Get in touch with our advertising team today at advertising at KBLA1580.com. That's advertising at KBLA1580.com. KBLA1580, we've got your black. Now. Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do, so great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. We've got a lot to talk about. Race, culture wars, political turf battles, criminal justice and injustice, the courts. These are the conversations you won't hear elsewhere. My guests are leading journalists, celebrities and sports figures, elected leaders and influencers. They aren't afraid to get into it and say the quiet part out loud. With Ariva Martin in real time, your commute just became the most engaging part of your day. Tune in weekdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. or find us on YouTube. Ariva Martin in real time. When you want it straight, no chaser. Unapologetically progressive. KBLA Talk 1580. We've got your black. black. Your ancestors' favorite radio station. Radio station. And your favorite morning show host. Let's get back to Dominique DePrima right now. Right now. Let's get back to Dominique DePrima here with the mayor of Compton. And Compton is in the uh, chat. Compton is with us on the air. If you want to call, you can 800 920 So Earth Day, uh, the celebration is the 20th, which is a week from Saturday. All are welcome. Where do we meet up and what do we do? Uh, Dominique, we, they can uh, meet there at our uh, 212, um, uh, 212 is on uh, West Actually. Cypress Street, 212 West Cypress okay. Street. If that's where they're going to be coming there. And that starts at uh, 9 o'clock that morning from 9 to 11. They're going to be doing the cleanup. And also they will be uh, dispersing from 912 over to the, uh, by the courthouse. We're going to be doing cleanups in those areas. And so we just have a lot of things lined up for that day. And we also have an adopt day, which I'm excited about. We do that with Cal Trans. We're doing this for that second year and making sure we uh, the community come out and they have just to help the community clean out the garages. So dump day is like if you have bulky items or whatever, you can bring yes. them and get rid of them. Uh -huh. Does that include like electronic waste and stuff as well? No, we won't be doing the electronic waste. We just not uh, waste time. not this time. No, but we do have that ha taking place as well, and so I'm excited about that. So. You just give us an opportunity to help the community as far as getting things out of their garages and getting things out of their homes that they really want to, to get rid of but may not have the opportunity to bring it in any place. So we tell them to bring it in so we make sure that we dispose of it. And when them. is that? That's on the 20th as well. Okay, so uh -huh. busy day. Yeah, busy, busy day of cleaning up, on yes. spring cleaning, yes. as they say, spring on the clean. 20th. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so we got somebody in the chat that wants to know about the potholes. And we I always see um, articles in you know various local papers about that and sometimes folks call uh, molly bell is in the in uh the chat saying she's glad to have her streets paved and potholes um uh and potholes had plants growing out of them like compton high school is being relocated and built in a new location so much is happening in compton we got a lot of things going on we got a, yeah, a new school coming in could be opening in 2020 2025 is and that compton high or is compton high 
No, that's going to be Compton High, the new okay. Compton High. Okay, yes, so it it'll still be Compton High, but it'll just be a new location. The, no, it's in the same location. They tore the school down and they rebuilt the Remodeling school. Remodeling it. No, they rebuilt the school. Starting from scratch, Starting from, from scratch. the ground up. Yes. Okay, yeah. and is that was that like just a, a reimagining, or what brought that about? No, it was something that I think that was coming on for a while, uh, even when I was on the school board, taking a look to see how we could upgrade and do our schools. And so now uh, Compton High was the first school to, uh, we done built a, a new school before, Clinton Elementary School when I was there, and that was built from the ground up, so that, um, that was a brand new school. So now we decided to, they decided to take a look at our high schools because uh, some of our high schools were really not in the best condition. Mm-hmm. And so now we're building a brand new school there and, and uh, in the same area. But you know, it's interesting that, um, uh, you know, Inglewood and some other, even LA, USD are looking at closing schools because the the attendance is just not there. The population is just not there. But Compton is building a new high school. Building a brand new high school. So evidently you don't have an issue with not having enough kids to fill the schools. Well, the thing is, is that honestly, uh, my take on it is that we need to make sure that we provide uh, the best, um, um, best schools possible for our kids we really do and so by doing this it's going to be really a high-tech school so i'm I'm, ho- I'm not hopeful nice yeah it, I, i'm excited about it <laughs> yeah i am i'm excited about this new school <laughs> yeah I mean, they're talking about 2020 2025 that's right around the corner really and so, yeah, it really is. Yes. It's like in a, in a minute and a half. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, but what about the potholes? I mean, it seems to be, I feel like I've asked this to um, every mayor going back, but, um, you know, what what's the progress? What's the plan? You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm not here to discuss the potholes, but unfortunately, you're going to ask me, and we are, <laughs> uh, we, everybody asks us about the potholes because I'm like, okay, uh, naturally, we are addressing this. And I, I was speaking with our uh, city manager just yesterday. There, he, there's, there's a plan that he's putting in place where we can actually be able to address a lot of these things. Uh, and, and we uh, we have been working uh, doing a, a reconstruction of some streets. We've been able to get some of those streets re, uh, completely restru- reconstructed. That was one plan we have, but also, too, we do have an issue there which, which you have to address, and we are addressing it. Yeah. It's going to be addressed. So I would just tell the community, I know this has been a long time coming. I know this is something that has been around for a while, and uh, but we are dr- going to be addressing this issue. We just, uh, and uh, I'm hoping, uh, not hoping, uh, on the 20th, just uh, on the 20th, we are also going to be having a, com- a community meeting from 10 to 12. They're going to be doing giving an update as far as our report. It's also be going to be giving an update as our CIP, which is our plan in order for to address this issue. So I would invite the community to please come out and, and from 10 to 12 and be a part of that, that community meeting. Uh, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Man, you got a busy. That's also Saturday? That's also Saturday the 20th. Okay. So we got the uh, cleanup going on. Uh, from 9 to 11, we got the dump day going on from uh, starting around the same time from 9 to 11. And then we, from 10 to 12, we have the community meeting. And that community meeting is going to be uh, sharing information with our community in regarding the, uh, uh, like I said, the audit report as well as ICIP, which is uh, dealing with our street repairs, uh, f- as infrastructure. Um, where is the community meeting? The community meeting is going to be held at Dollar Hyde Community Center. The famous Dollar Hyde Community Center. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we're meeting at two twelve West Cyber Street for the community cl- for the cleanup, community cleanup, which is a piece of the Earth Day action. And the dump day, where is that taking? Place? That's going to be at seven hundred uh, North Willis Road. You got you got some driving to do. <laughs> you got to go go to the uh, cleanup, then go to the dump day. Stop by the town and hall. Stop by the town hall meeting. And yeah. Stop by the community meeting. Of course, Compton is not exactly huge. No, ten square miles. Mm. Yes. Um, so. People can bring whatever stuff they have that they've been meaning to get out of the garage, the house, or we're thinking of dumping somewhere. They dump it at uh, 700. 700 Ellis. Yeah, North Bullis Road. Oh, Bullis Road. Bullis North Road. Bullis. Okay. We do not want them to put it on the street. <laughs> yeah. We're telling you to bring it to us. We'll get ready for you. You don't have to put it on the streets. It's free. It's free. Yeah. Completely. Yes, it is free. Yeah, so we're doing that. So bring. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to be picking it up for seniors that's in second in, in the second district in the fourth district. We're going to have we if they want to, they can call in, schedule an appointment, and we'll have our, our, the uh, staff to go out and pick it up from their home. Okay, if you're yeah. a senior. If you're a senior. If you're not a senior, bring your own doggone stuff. But if you're a senior, <laughs> if you're a senior, you can yes. call. 
Okay. And what's the number for them to call? Do you uh, have that handy or will I find it on the city of Compton website? You can find it on the website, but I can give you uh, my secretary's number right now. Okay. And 310. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, secretary. Yes. 756. <laughs> 756. 5741. 5741. Then call in and just tell them that they want to schedule an appointment uh, for us to pick it up as long as you're in the second district and the fourth district. Okay. Uh-huh. All righty. Um, and, you know, you, it, you got you do have a lot going on in the city of Compton. Um, is, you know, as we, as a region, as a county, um, look at these issues like, you know, how do we clean up? How do we uh, improve our air quality? How do we um, beautify? Um, every city has the role to play, right? We do. Yeah, and and housing continues to be an issue. I've got somebody here asking, will we see any of the empty lots in the city of Compton being transformed into housing opportunities? Ah, yes, that, yes, they were definitely going to see that as well. As a matter of fact, we finished our first project, a housing project, right there at 1950 uh, North Central. That's that that is completely is complete, and also not is it complete? It's com- it was completely it's sold out. Before we could actually get it built, so those condominiums or, or no homes, homes, uh-huh. okay, yeah, single family homes, uh, and they homes. so they're yeah. built and they're gone, yeah. And <laughs> so that that's a, a de, it's a private development um, in partnership with the city of Compton. Yes, it is. It's not city owned or anything like no. that. No, it isn't. Because when you say project, you know people get different ideas. Yeah. So this is a private developer partnering with Compton. Bunch of houses, they're gone. And you're saying there are more in the pipeline, uh, like similar to that. Uh, yes, it is. As well. uh, right now, uh, we have a uh, second project that's uh, that's that housing project that's being completed. It's on 250 uh, South Central, uh, South uh, Central. That's being completed right now. They working on complete that working on that. And so we also have a we approved at the last city council meeting another uh, housing project. All right, uh, we're talking with Compton Mayor Emma Sharif and you on KBLA Talk 1580. More of First Things First with Dominique DePrima when we come forward. I'm Mike Moore. Here's the latest from the Black Information Network. A high-profile civil rights attorney is representing the family of a man who was shot by police in Miami, Florida. Donald Armstrong's family has hired African-American attorney Ben Crump after police shot Armstrong six times last month. The MPD says that he was holding a sharp object and tasing didn't work. He's charged with aggravated assault on a police officer, but Crump said yesterday the video does not support the charge. We're now learning Google Trends shows searches for why do my eyes hurt or eyes hurt spike during Monday's total solar eclipse. The term saw a jump in the number of searches around 2 p.m. Eastern Time, which is about the time the eclipse started to be seen in the U.S. Searches peaked at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And that's the latest. I'm Mike Moore from your 24-7 news source, the Black Information Network and BINnews.com. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. How does three months of free electricity and a lifetime of energy savings sound? Well, it's yours when you go solar with Sunlux. Learn more at sunlux.com, sunlux.com. Is this, the title? this is the KBLA Sports Minute with Ray Richardson. Ray Richardson. I'm a the Lakers have a very important game tonight at home against Golden State, but they're not sure if LeBron and Anthony Davis will be in the lineup. LeBron has the flu. AD has a bruised left eye. The Lakers need to win their final three games to have any chance of avoiding the play-in round. The Lakers are ninth in the Western Conference. Golden State is in the final play-in spot at 10th. The Clippers are at Phoenix tonight. The Lakers will be rooting for the Clippers. The Lakers are a game and a half behind Phoenix in the chase for the sixth spot, the final automatic qualifier for the playoffs. UConn is the first school in 17 years to win back-to-back NCAA men's basketball championships. Florida was the last school to do it in 2007. The Angels and Dodgers won yesterday. The Angels' new manager, Ron Washington, has his team in a first-place tie with Texas in the AL West. No debates, no speculation, just the info you need. That's your KBLA Sports Minute. I'm Ray Richardson. More news, opinions, and conversation when we come forward on KBLA Talk 1580. Yeah, y'all, come on. Come the At KBLA Talk 1580, we fight the power every day. Yeah, y'all give us what we want. Uh. 
Gotta give us what we need. Hey! I listen to KBLA and I love the commercials. I know what the commercials mean. I also, if I'm looking and trying to figure something out, I need something to talk to me that might hit me. And it happens on TV because, you know, every time they show a sporting event, they got the pharmaceutical companies back to back to back telling people how to fix the sickness on the same stuff that they sell them. So we get it. Yep, we get it too, Chuck D. And that's why at KBLA Talk 1580, we don't black down. Drop it. Our freedom of speech is freedom of death. We, we got, got to fight the powers that be. We ask seniors how to prevent Medicare scams. My best advice, if you get a phone call, do not talk to the person. These people are well-trained. Don't talk to them. They don't know me. They're just trying to scam me. Don't be fooled. Hang up. Just hang up. Never give out your Medicare number. They're going to get your number to put in a false claim. If I get a call from someone, I don't pick up the phone. And should I pick up the phone and they ask for information, then I hang up. How do you detect Medicare fraud? Just like I check my credit card statements, I check my Medicare statements monthly. Scammers can get a hold of your number, order medical devices through your account, and you're not even going to know about it if you don't look at your statement. Check your statement every month. If you get your statement and you see something that you know you did not have done, you report it. Call your senior Medicare patrol. To report Medicare fraud, call the Senior Medicare Patrol at 855-613-7080. Substance use disorder and addiction is so isolating. And so as a black woman in recovery, hope must be loud. It grows louder when you ask for help and you're vulnerable. It is the thread that lets you know that no matter what happens, you will be okay. When we learn the power of hope, recovery is possible. Find out how at startwithhope.com. Brought to you by the National Council for Mental Wellbeing, Shatterproof, and the Ad Council. My ride smells just right, just right, just right, just right. Y'all gotta try that for Bree's right, car. Just right, just right, just right, just right. La 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 la. Yeah. With up to 40 days of consistency, all over Bree's car clips right on your pit. Yeah, you know, yeah. my car is my happy place. Keep that smile on my face. When it smells just right. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Thanks for waking up with Dominique DePrima on KBLA Talk 1580. Okay, uh, the mayor is in the house. Uh, Compton Mayor Emma Sharif is joining us. She's actually teaming up with KBLA for an Earth Day cleanup extravaganza in the city of Compton on the 20th of April. That will be a week from Saturday. Um, and everybody's welcome, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, we'll meet at uh, 212 West Cypress and fan out from there. There's also a town hall meeting the same day from 10 to noon at Dalahide, right? Dalahide Community Center. Yes. And then there is a dump day uh, to get your, you know, bulky items out. Uh, that's at 700 uh, North Bullis. And that is, what hours is that? I don't have that written down. This starts at uh, 8 o'clock from 8 until 1, I believe. Okay, 8 until 1. You got a little more time. You can uh, call if you're a senior, and someone will come pick some stuff up. If you're not a senior, you need to go on over there and just dump, dump self-dump. <laughs> so. Just bring it in. They will, uh, be a, we have staff there to unload the trucks. If they have trucks, we unload the trucks. If they've sent their car. Oh, they, you got some help, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We have staff there. We have everybody there to make sure that we take care of you. So just come on by. 
So um, we were talking uh, during news, traffic, and sports about this pervasive countywide problem of houselessness. And somebody in the chat is talking about, well, are you going to clean up? Are you going to clean up the RVs? Are you going to clean up the tent encampments? Um, and what's being done to address those things? Uh, we are honestly right now. Um, we had a bridge that was down there in the city of Compton, and. Uh, that bridge is now is being repaired. What is happening is that there was 33 people that was living under the bridge. Wow. Well, in working with the supervisor's office, we were able to uh, bring in uh, a, a facility, bring in the um, an organization, and they came in, and they were able to get all 33 people, those unhoused people, uh, temporary housing. So I continue to work with the county in regards to that, uh, to address that issue and in, in, in making sure that we uh, we work with hopics in order to make sure that they they come out and they help us help us address those issues so we have quite a bit of support there where we can reach out and make sure that we get people to come out and to help us as force because we don't have our own uh, departments for that and so we work uh, cl- mm. closely with the county I and, see. They, and then they come out and they really did help that I was really just grateful that we were able to get all 33 people on those uh, 33 unhoused people, we were able to find them temporary housing, and from that, they would actually be working with them for permanent housing as well. So that's a, that's the, those are the things that we're doing there in Compton to make sure that we continue to try to address that issue. Yeah, I think um, this is a thorny problem, especially the RVs for many cities. That's uh, when when the uh, mayor of LA was in last week. Well, it was on last week. She was talking about um, this new bill that would allow public lands to be used. Uh, for things like creating an RV lot where unhoused folks can go and have a place with bathrooms and such because of all the waste uh, management problems that come mm-hmm. with those RVs. Yeah, it it's really can be very uh, disheartening, especially for the uh, residents if it's in the community. And uh, that, uh, we have to just continue to work very closely with our uh, staff and with our uh, with the chef department there when, when it comes to those things, and we continue to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Someone in the chat says, you know, it's, these problems aren't just Compton; that's the whole county. I agree with that. Um, Molly Bell wants to know about other new stuff around town. Uh, the torn down Compton High. She says, we say a brand new Compton. When will? Um, when will the new Compton High School be open? You said 2025. 2025. And uh, where are those Compton students now? Those Compton students now are, is on the campus of Roosevelt Middle School. I see. Yeah, that's where they are now. Um, and Molly Bell, yeah, you get the KBLA T-shirt if you go out and uh, you have to help out with the cleanup. That's, Tell Molly Bell she got to go come out. on out. Come yeah, on. hopefully, you know, she's she's uh, bounced back enough to, to come on out and – because Molly Bell be everywhere, but yeah, that's the deal. You come out, you, you uh, and you help, and you get a T-shirt, yay! And you represent KBLA, and we appreciate you doing that. Let's go to Deb calling us from the city of Compton. Hi, Deb. Hey, good morning, Dominique. You're on good with morning, your mayor. mayor. Good morning. How are you doing? Yes, <laughs> I, I'm doing well. I am a proud Compton resident. I thank you for what you do. I, I see a lot of uh, improvements, and I appreciate it. Thank but you. Mayor. Yes, there's ma'am. There's a but. <laughs> mayor, these, these sex workers on Long Beach Boulevard are killing my neighborhood. The, the condoms, the condom wrappers, the liquor bottles. I mean, Mayor, and, and I stop the police. I engage our sheriff. And, of course, they say, oh, well, they're running from Figueroa. Oh, we can't do anything to them thanks to Governor Newsom and that ridiculous law that he passed. Um, Mayor, please. Yes, ma'am. Do, okay, we got you, the question, Deb. We got the, we got the we got the question. Deb, I do. Uh, please believe me. I do not live too far off that Long Beach Boulevard. I live right there on Mayo, and so I I live in the community. And so I do understand your concerns, and that is something that we're really going to be focusing on. 
is a, 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 a focusing on there. So I, I you know, we it's something that we're going to be working with with it. But uh, right now we're going to talk about this clean up. So you guys can come out and help us with that. But I do. If you can always call my office, you can set up a schedule a meeting with me, if, so that we can sit down and discuss some issues, uh, concern, you know, discuss your concerns. But I do like us. Let me say this: I do understand your concerns. I really do. Well, I mean. You're talking about a the the law that like decriminalizes mm-hmm. loitering. And I understand I can understand both sides here because they're trying to decriminalize sex work, but then to me you should go all out and legalize it so people can have places of business that aren't the streets and could have protections because I think what they're talking about they're you know they're they're talking about the in, unintended consequences of that law, right? That it, well, you say unintended. Well, I think that they need to just sit back and when you deal making these uh, changes and ch- these laws and everything, uh, you have to think about the communities that's also being impacted by these changes, and uh, because when you decriminalizing things. And it, then people take advantage of those uh, those things. It's not like everybody's going is, is sitting back, yeah, being concerned in regarding. Uh, but what but we're it seems with. like I mean what I heard at least from the city attorney in in Los Angeles, and uh, Deputy Chief Tingarides when they came on this show talking about that problem on Figueroa, mm-hmm. um, which is the same problem we having over here on Long Beach, on Long Beach Boulevard. It, it, is that they're cracking down on the customers rather than tra- cracking down on those. Many of those sex workers are human trafficked. Many of them are minors. And uh, finding ways to c- crack down on the customers and the hotels, motels, whatever they are, um, that that that's allow allowing, that business. Uh, that's allowing that business to take yeah. place. And you're correct. And uh, and I do support uh, in that sense. I do, but at the same time, is that when the bills are passed, when this bill was passed, it just really, I, I just never seen it be, it be at this this magnitude before. So you've seen an increase. And yes, a tremendous yes, definite increase. And that's what I'm looking at. And not only that is that the fact that you what when they uh, passed that law, it was like this is 2022. Y- yeah. yeah, and just like people now, I'm like, are they naked completely out here on the streets? And that's and when you are children. And I think one of the things that the community is really upset about because they said this is their kids are being it, yeah. Is, is being well, I mean, but being this. indecent yeah. exposure is still against the law, isn't it? And she gives I, me an incredulous look. If you if you're not on YouTube, yeah, you have I'm to like, see that I, look. I, I, are, is it because of, according to the way the law is passed, that it's like uh, they gave them a free for all? That's the way I looked at it. I'm being on. That's the way I took it, honestly. But uh, like I said, is that I'm looking at some hopefully some changes being there, and because they are looking at and I do and one and one of the things I do understand I know that we have uh, young people that's been put out on those streets. I know that we've had people that's been uh, been human trafficking out there, and that's why I believe that we have to continue to take a, a very close look at at who's there, and and I definitely children you don't want them to be uh, criminalized for this uh, without a doubt. But I'm just my thing is that we just have to take a look a bit more, be more um, concerned as maybe some of the the language in in some of these laws that's being passed. Talking yeah. with Compton Mayor Emma Sharif and you, and we are celebrating Earth Day in the city of Compton on the 20th of April. Hope to see you there. It is KBLA Talk 1580. The station you turn to when you've had it up to here with cultural incompetence. KBLA Talk 1580. Oh, okay. Some days I cover up because of my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now I'm hitting the road with clearer skin thanks to Sky Rizzy, Rizm Kism of Rizza, a prescription only 150 milligram injection for adults who are candidates for systemic or phototherapy. Is with Sky Rizzy, three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Don't use if allergic to Sky Rizzi. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Before treatment, your doctor should check for infection and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Thanks to Sky Rizzi, there's nothing on my skin, and that means everything. 
your doctor today about Sky Rizzi, the number one dermatologist prescribed biologic in psoriasis. And visit SkyRizzi.com or call 1-866-SKY-RIZZI to learn more. Imagine with me here for a minute the most beautiful panoramic setting. Maybe it's an endless ocean, waves crashing on a beach, or a crystal clear mountain lake, peaceful and quiet. Or maybe it's just little kids playing in the park down the street. Wherever your imagination takes you, now imagine right smack in the middle of this perfect picture, a piece of litter. Just one piece right there in the middle of it all. Doesn't exactly fit, does it? In fact, even though it's just one piece, now it's all you can see. That one piece ruins everything. And that's the thing about litter. It doesn't take much to ruin everything. One thing's for sure, it simply does not belong anywhere in California. So here's the good news. If we work together, we will change it. We don't have to let litter, even just one piece, ruin your perfect picture. Not anymore, not ever again. Clean California, zero litter is the goal. Brought to you by Caltrans and CleanCA.com. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. We used to argue about whose turn it was to clean the gutters, but then I had Leaf Filter gutter protection installed. Wait, I told you Leaf Filter had free inspections and estimates and a lifetime guarantee. Meaning we never have to argue about whose turn it is to clean the gutters again. But I visited leaffilter.com slash beacon first. No, I did. It doesn't matter who. Visit leaffilter.com slash beacon to schedule your free gutter inspection and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. I feel occasional burning and stabbing in my hands as I age. I sometimes feel numbness and tingling in my feet as I get older. It's starting to get in the way of doing what I love. At Nervive, we hear you and we can help. Nervive's clinically studied dose of alpha lipoic acid reduces occasional nerve discomfort in as little as seven days with continued daily use. Now that I know, I'm taking control. Try Nervive Nerve Relief and say yes to healthy nerves. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This is KBLA Talk 1580, where hate loses and love wins. We are talking with Compton Mayor Emma Sharif. She's live in the studio with me. Thank you so much for coming in, Mayor Sharif, and spending the hour with us. Of course, the other big thing we always hear about Compton is one of the big things we hear about L.A., which is street racing. And, I, you know, we have a guy uh, who calls in, Randy from Watts calls in all the time and says, why can't we, you know, reopen Terminal Island as a racetrack or find a place to put folks so they won't race in the street? Are you guys looking at any kind of alternatives or, you know, I know you guys had those special bumps in the street at the intersections and all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, Dominique, we've been looking at different ways for us to actually um, – deter uh slow this process down yeah yeah and and there's some it worked in some areas and in some areas it didn't work and so we still uh like everybody else that's out here we still uh looking at different ways for us to uh to uh try to make sure that we can slow this process down or completely stop it uh we did uh this council have taken a different stance and we increased the fines uh, we passed a uh, resolution, or ordinance, as a matter of fact, to increase the fines there. As far as the people that's also uh, that's, that's uh, sitting back watching, standing around watching. Yeah, yeah. And then because well, I mean, that, I, I always believe carrot stick. Like, that's why I'm like, couldn't we have a place for people to race and say, we're going to increase the fines, now go over there and do this? Because, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that would do it, because maybe part of the point is the drama in the streets. But it certainly seems like... You know, cities of L.A., Compton, Linwood, 
um, Long Beach might think about creating a legal place for folks to do that? Uh, you know, I have no problem with working with uh, with the Los Angeles and the city of Long Beach, and, and uh, all, because you got Paramount, you got the city of Linwood. All of us are dealing with the issue, right? And that's a good discussion that I, I've had with a lot of the with mm. some of the elected officials mm-hmm. there in regarding it. And so all of us are right, looking at, uh, can, but we also looking uh, at the the uh, state to see whether or not there's some type of bill that they can pass to help and assist us in that area as well, because it's really. Uh, it's it's really a da- it's dangerous when you take a look at seeing to see some of the things that they are doing, because the car if you lose uh, control of that vehicle, anybody that's there can be injured or killed. Yeah. Yeah. And so that that is always my concern is is the people even the people that's driving my concern is them as well because uh, if they lose control of the car they can get injured they can get killed as well, and uh, as well as the spectator so. That is definitely something that I'm concerned about. You came in here really excited, um, excited about Earth Day, excited about Compton. What are you most proud of that you've accomplished or that you're in the process of doing in your city? You know, the most the the thing that I was most proud of, we was able to complete 21 uh, cities. I mean, complete re- reconstruction of those cities, and that was a black, that was great for us. That was a start, and we still have more to do and in, in, in everything. And I'm looking forward to it. But uh, the second thing we was able to do is that we were able to get that bridge uh, that was down since 2020. 2020. Wow. Yeah, and so uh, I would thank uh, my senator Steve Bradford as well as my assembly people and Holly Mitchell. <laughs> For helping us out in that area, and so now that bridge is is, is in the process of being repaired, and uh, so I'm excited about that because I know the community it that that bridge really affected uh, a lot of a lot of us uh, uh, surrounding cities, and especially the residents there in our community. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm very happy that you know that that bridge is be, is under repair right now. now. Do we have a grand unveiling? Oh, we, target date. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have a grand unveiling. <laughs> and we don't have a date yet, but we do know that we expect it to be repaired sometime during the summer. Oh, no, okay, so awesome. It, so this year. Yeah, this year. Okay, and then, you know, you you talked about two different d- developments, that um, uh, 1950 North Central and 250 South Central. You know, some of these lots that are going into housing, you indicated that there there is a lot more in the pipeline, that this is a priority uh, everybody has different ideas. What what else is coming uh, to um, Compton as far as new, you know, businesses or new initiatives that you want to share? Well, we uh, uh, one of the things we want to always let people know that we, the city of Compton is always open for businesses to come into our city. We encourage you to come. <laughs> we really do. And so, are we looking at uh, any? Uh, there's uh, looking at them bringing something there in where, where the Fridays used to be. Well, you know, Fridays closed down, so we're looking at bringing uh, a business there and back into that center. And that's what we, one of the things that they're working on right now. Yeah, I mean, it seems like um, Compton is on the move, um, and and you, you still have to navigate everything that comes down from the county and the state. Yes. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to – that's why I say your laws you're passing, you just, just be – just give me a call. <laughs> Before you pass something. Before you pass something else, call, right me. Like, call me up. I'm like, wait a minute, hold it for me. <laughs> hold the phone. Yes, yes. Yeah, for those just waking up, let's talk about Saturday. Everybody is invited. Everybody is welcome. Uh, and it starts <laughs> not at 6 a.m. like Not at show, 6 a.m. <laughs> but uh, at 9. At 9. And we will not be starting at 6, but we will be saying, come on out at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock not Saturday morning uh, on the 20th and, and join us as we do our, our Earth Day cleanup here in the city of Compton. Yeah, wear your sneakers and, you know, something comfortable, right? Oh, yeah. Come in with your jeans on, your sneakers on, and, and be ready to go. And we got, If you want to buy a T-shirt, we have T-shirts out there uh, that's, that's, that they'll, they'll be selling because one of the, uh, the uh, organizations that we work with, he's been these people have been working with us for 17 years. Nice. In the, in, in 17, 18 years. And so they're gonna, they are def, they are there uh, called Compton Initiative. They are there. And we have our other people in the community called Block. They're going to be there. So we have a lot of a lot of organizations that's, that's out here going to be working with us in the within the city uh, Compton as well as outside of the city because they uh, the Compton initiative really started off uh, they in Paramount and now they in Compton helping us so it's exciting times for us it really is yeah and of course the KBLA shirts will be free but you got to show up and you know 
work. Got to, you know, show up with that a spirit the of... The spirit of helping. Uh, yeah, the spirit of helping <laughs> and the spirit of Earth Day. Yeah. Um, City of Compton always has had, as far as since I've been here... Um, you know, a, a pretty good website and, and the ability to find out a lot of things that are going on. So if you're not tracking, uh, they should check in, right? Yeah, you can you can check in. You can call my office or you can check in on the website. You should be getting that information should be there. Yes, indeed. Um, a busy a busy Earth Day. Um, that is ComptonCity.org. ComptonCity.org. And you have... Um, a busy Saturday ahead. You've got so let's make sure we got this straight. We got Earth Day. They better know about that. We've been talking about it yes. every five minutes yes. on KBLA. Earth Day, two twelve ex- West Cypress. Yes, two twelve West uh, you know, West Cypress. And I'm so excited to be uh, in partnership with KBLA doing this. I'm really am. This is great. When he called me, I said, "Yes, we're gonna give this way. We can make sure we get the, um, more information out to the community about this and let them know that that Compton is uh, really working and that we are one com- one city that's really is concerned about the earth." And I feel like I, I don't even have to ask you this, Mayor Sharif, but I know you'll be there, of course, because <laughs> I see you. You know, I see you at a lot of events. You are out and about in the community for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be there. I'm gonna be at I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be at the uh, Earth Day uh, event. I'm gonna be a uh, clean up. I'm gonna be at the Dom Day event, clean uh, the, there in the city, and I'm definitely gonna be at the uh, Compton Community Meeting. Yes, I'll be there. Compton Community Meeting that is uh, ten to noon, and that's uh, ten to twelve. Ten to twelve, and yes. that's where again? That's gonna be at the Dollar High Community Center. Dollar High, y'all know where that is. Um, Mayor Emma Sharif, we have one minute until we lose you at the top of the hour. What do you want to leave us with? What are your parting thoughts today? My parting thoughts today is that I, uh, as I stated, is that we need to take care of this earth because God put us here for us to, to uh, he allowed us to be here. So we need to take care of this earth. And I'm just asking people to come out, join us on Saturday, and come out. And after the uh, cleanup, we're going to have make sure that you can have a great time. We're going to be making sure we have food for you and for us to enjoy after our, our work of service, you can enjoy just hanging out with people and, and getting to know people. You got to get outside sometimes. Yes. <laughs> and you got to have fellowship sometimes. And so this is a great time for you to do it. Come on out. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're feeling down, there's nothing like helping helping out to make you feel better. And that's right. And helping others. And that's what this is all about. It's about helping others and making sure taking care of our earth at the same time. Mayor Emma Sharif, thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Dominique. Thank you for having me on your show. If you missed it, CompTonCity.org or KBLA1580.com. All right, it's the perfect time for you to call me. We are KBLA Talk 1580. KBLA 1580 Santa Monica. I'm Mike Moore. Here's the latest from the Black Information Network. A high-profile civil rights attorney is representing the family of a man who was shot by police in Miami, Florida. Donald Armstrong's family has hired African-American attorney Ben Crump after police shot Armstrong six times last month. The MPD says that he was holding a sharp object and tasing didn't work. He's charged with aggravated assault on a police officer, but Crump said yesterday the video does not support the charge. We're now learning Google Trends shows searches for why do my eyes dump in the number of searches around 